So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and uh, we are going to create a little uh, interactive banner uh, using JavaScript. Uh, so right now I will show you what we are going to be doing today. Uh, so basically we are going to have something like this uh, and right now I have this as mouse over but you can have this as a click and if I, if I go, uh, go over this one it will change to this one, if I go to the red it will change to the red and uh, like so we can have something like this. So this is what we are going to be doing today. Uh, so right now I am on the side uh, FreePig and I am going to provide you a link in the description so you can double on this and uh, I am also going to provide you the illustrator file that we are going to very quickly create right now. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, but uh, keep in mind that if you want to use this commercially, you will have to attribute the author or uh, just go premium. Uh, so right now I will go to the place where I have uh, saved my uh, free pick file and I'm going to have, uh, let me delete uh, this, I'm going to have a zip file like this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose extract here and this is going to give me some files, one of them is going to be this EPOS file and if I'm going to double click this will open me this in the illustrator. I will go to the file and uh, new and I'm going to create a new document which is going to be 800 by 800 and I want to have everything as it is. So I will just hit uh, create and now I will go back in here and what I can do is uh, I can either one by one click like so with the shift to select them or I can select them like so and I'm going to drag them uh, to the new document like uh, this and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, scale them like so. And right now you, what you can do is you can uh, select all of them and you can search for the align tool if you don't have it in here and uh, then you are going to have somewhere align and you can go ahead and align it to the center of the stage like so. Uh, you have an option to align to the artboard or align to the selection so maybe if, it's, uh, if this doesn't work properly uh, it may have something to do with this. But basically you can also uh, align this uh, by uh, like so and uh, it, do it doesn't need to be uh, perfect but it, it depends on you. And now what I want to do is I will go to the layers and I will click on the layer one and on, on these three lines and I'm going to choose uh, release to sequence and I'm going to uh, select it uh, with shift and get it outside of the layer one and right now we are going to have four layers like so. And now I'm going to hit the save control S and uh, I'm going to provide you this, uh, uh, this illustrator file in the description uh, and uh, yeah and I will save this and I will see you in Adobe Animate in few moments. Uh, so right now I'm in the Adobe Animate and I will go with uh, 800 by 800 and I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I will just uh, hit uh, create. Uh, so right now uh, I will go to the place where I have uh, saved my illustrator uh, file and it is going to be in here and I'm going to basically drag it uh, to the Adobe Animate like so and I want, to, I want everything to be as it is and I'm just going to click uh, import. Uh, now we are going to have these uh, four layers and if you want uh, what you can do is uh, if you didn't align this in the illustrator you can select it like so, uh, go to the align tool and you can uh, align it uh, in here. You can align it uh, to the bottom like so and uh, then move it to the top. This depends uh, on you. Uh, but now what I want to do is I will hide uh, all of them for now and one by one I will click on them and I'm going to convert them to the symbol so modify uh, convert to symbol and uh, symbol fine is fine but make sure that it is movie clip and I will click OK and uh, now uh now what I want to do is I will click on this and I will change this instance name. This is the name by which we are going to be targeting this in the JavaScript and this is going to be uh, blue one. And uh, right now I'm going to show the green and I will convert it to the symbol F8, uh, symbol 2 is fine and uh, this is going to be green one. Uh, you can call it as you want uh, but uh, I will call it like this. Uh, so right now F8 and this is going to be symbol 3 and I will... Uh, I will click on this and this is going to be a uh, red one and uh, now the last one, so uh, this one, I will click F8 and I will call this to be symbol 4 and uh, I will click on this and this is going to be purple 1. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, I will create a new layer and on this new layer we are going to create some kind of buttons. Uh, so I will go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to choose oval tool and I'm going to create a shape like this. And I'm going to with the uh, alt uh, duplicate it. So I'm holding alt and I'm going to go like this. You can hold shift to stay on the same line and I'm going to duplicate this uh, for time like so. And uh, right now if you want you can go ahead and uh, 
uh, do it uh, like uh, like uh, so so I can click on this one and uh, get the blue color uh, I can click on uh, this one and uh, get this uh, green color and like so I can click on this one and get uh, this red color or you can uh, go ahead and choose uh, whatever color and this one uh, is already purple but I can do something like this also we are going to have uh, them like so and right now I will convert all of them to the symbol so I will click on this one f8 and symbol 5 uh, this one f8 symbol 6 and like uh, so and uh, now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to put an instance names uh, so this is going to be button uh, blue so I will just call it button uh, and blue with capital B but as I said these names are uh, optional this is going to be button uh, green uh, this is going to be button uh, red, button uh, red, and uh, this one, uh, the last one is going to be button uh, purple, like so. And right now, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, uh, we are going to we are going to have uh, everything like uh, like so. And what I can do is I can click anywhere and I can change the color of the stage uh, to maybe something like this. So basically, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, I'm going to see uh, my my canvas. But I really hate this color, uh, so I will change it to maybe something which is uh, maybe like so. So basically, something which is not uh, white and uh, you can see the, the canvas. Uh, now I will uh, go ahead and create a new layer and I will call this layer to be code and if you want you can call this layer to be uh, button or sub buttons and if you want you can rename also this one but I'm not going to do it and I will right click and I'm going to choose actions and uh, what I can do is I can type something like uh, this uh, blue uh, one uh, visible uh, but like so visible is going to be uh, false and uh, right now uh, this is going to make the blue one uh, invisible so I'm going to hit control enter and uh, and uh, yeah uh, but blue wasn't visible even before uh, but right now I can click F9 or right click and choose actions to go in here and I can go ahead and duplicate this line so I will hit control C and uh, control V or what you can do uh, is just go to the end of the line and hit Ctrl D to duplicate this and I'm just going to change the blue one uh, to purple one. So this uh, purple one visible is going to be false, uh, Ctrl Enter and right now the, the purple one is going to disappear and I can do the same thing uh, for the for the green one and for the red one. So I'm going to duplicate this and this is going to be green one and this is going to be uh, red one like so and I will hit uh, control control enter to, to see this and right now they are all they all have disappeared you can uh, in the google chrome you can click f12 uh, uh, to open uh, these uh, these tools and uh, one of them is going to be this console and if you are going to have some kind of errors with the javascript uh, you are going to see it in the console in here with the red color uh, but yeah uh, now what i'm going to do is uh, I will go back to the code and I'm going to put all of this to the to the function. So I'm going to create a new function. I will type uh, function and I will call it uh, hide uh, all. Uh, but this name is optional and I'm going to choose. Uh, I'm going to create parentheses and uh, curvy parentheses. And right now I'm going to cut this. So Control X and I'm going to paste this in here like so. And uh, right now uh, this uh, this is fine. But uh, with the tabulator you can do something like this but uh, this doesn't change the code uh, it just uh, looks better uh, and right now we are going to have a function like this uh, but uh, in the Adobe Animate and uh, in the JavaScript you have something called uh, scope and uh, basically uh, when we are outside of the function uh, we are going to be using uh, this uh, but when we are inside of the function we are going to be using uh, some kind of variable uh, because and I can show you uh, uh, we, uh, when we have a function like this and I am, I'm going to hit control enter uh, nothing is uh, nothing is going to happen uh, because uh, functions uh, by themselves uh, don't do anything you will have to call the function and you can call the function like this so I'm going to copy this control C and I'm going to paste this in here control V and I will hit control enter and uh, and nothing is uh, nothing is going to happen and we are going to have some kind of uh, error 
Uh, and uh, if I go back to the Adobe Animate, I'm going to create a variable. I will call it let uh, root uh, is equal to this. And basically, uh, I'm going to replace the this of uh, in here uh, with this uh, root. And this name root is optional. You can have whatever name. Uh, but basically, as I said, when we when you are outside of the function, you are going to write uh, this. When you are inside of some function, you are going to write the root. Uh, and right now, uh, if I'm going to hit Control Enter, uh, they are going to all of them are going to disappear, and I'm not going to have any error. Uh, now what I can do is uh, I can put some even listener to these buttons. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the code with F9. And right now uh, we are outside of the function. So I'm going to type uh, this button uh, blue. And I'm going to type uh, add the uh, event uh, listener. And you will have to uh, write this uh, as I write it uh, with capital E, capital L. And uh, right now I'm going to type uh, parentheses. And uh, in the quotation mark marks, I'm going to uh, type the type of the event. So this is going to be click. And let me make this little bit, a little bit bigger if I can. So something like uh, this. So uh, this button blue, add even listener, click, and then uh, comma, and then uh, the function that uh, I want to call. So I'm going to create the blue function, so blue F. And uh, yeah, so we are going to call this blue function, but I will have to create the function. Uh, so right now I will type function uh, blue F, like so, and uh, parentheses and uh, curvy parentheses, and uh, yeah. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get rid of this uh, code, hide all, uh, in here. So we are going to have this uh, function, hide all, uh, but we are, not going to, we are not going to call the function at the beginning. So at the beginning we are going to have uh, everything like so. Uh, but now what I want to do is uh, if I click on this button blue, uh, I want to call this uh, hide all function. So I'm going to basically type in here, uh, hide uh, all and uh, in uh, parentheses like so. And if I'm going to hit control enter, and uh, if I uh, wrote everything correctly, if I click on this blue one, uh, all of them are going to disappear. And what I can uh, do right now is I can get uh, this line of code, root blue one visible is going to be false. And I'm going to paste it in uh, here. Uh, like so and I am going to make that this is going to be true and it doesn't matter if I'm going to hate, have this hide all uh, above or below that uh, or uh, let me let, let me see I'm going to hit control enter and if I'm going to click this uh, everything is going to disappear so it, it matters uh, because uh, right now uh, what is going to happen is that uh, I'm going to call this function and I'm going to hide everything and then I'm going to show this blue one. But uh, if I'm going to uh, first of all uh, show the blue one and then hide everything, uh, then it is going to basically hide everything. So uh, like this and right now if I'm going to hit control enter and if I will click it will hide everything but it will show the blue one uh, very well. And now basically we are going to we are going to copy this code. So I'm going to hit Control C and I'm going to go in here, Control V. And uh, right now I'm going to change uh, uh, this button blue to this uh, button uh, red. Uh, add even listener click and right now we are going to call the red function. So red F and uh, function uh, red uh, F like so. And in here we are going to change this root blue one to uh, root red one visible is going to be true and if i'm going to hit control enter and uh, if i'm going to click on the blue only blue is going to be visible if i click on the red only red is going to be visible and like so and uh, right now uh, i'm going to uh, do the same thing so i'm going to copy this two more times so i will uh, paste this and this is going to be a uh, button uh, green like so and uh, we are going to call the green function and you can see that right now we are co uh, copying and pasting so uh, there are uh, like better ways uh, how you can when you have something like this to don't uh, copy and paste uh, but that's maybe for other tutorials for now we are going to do it like so uh, so this is going to be uh, green one 
like so and uh, we will have to copy this one more time and I'm going to do the purple one so this uh, right now button uh, purple like uh, so button purple add even listener but right now I want to have a purple uh, function and uh, I will have to change it in here so uh, purple f and uh, in here we are going to have the purple one visible so like this and right now if I'm going to hit control enter and if I didn't misspell every, uh, anything uh, I should have it like so so if, I, if I'm going to click on the green I will have the green one and uh, like so and yeah in, it seems that uh, everything is uh, working uh, but uh, now one thing is that uh, maybe at the beginning uh, I would like to hide all of them so I can go ahead and uh, call this uh, hide all so I'm going to hit Ctrl C and I'm going to paste it in here, Ctrl V and I will hit Ctrl Enter and uh, basically right now at the, at the beginning we are not going to have anything and if we are click this is going to appear or what I can do is uh, I can go ahead and uh, copy this and uh, paste this in here but I will have to change the uh, root to this because right now we are uh, not inside of the function so this blue one uh, visible is going to be true so basically at the beginning uh, we are going to we are going to have uh, this one uh, blue visible and then we can go ahead and change this uh, now if you want to uh, use mouse over you will have to write one additional code in here so uh, stage uh, dot uh, enable uh, mouse uh, over and the uh, M and O needs to be capital and then uh, parentheses like so and right now what I can do is I can change this uh, even listeners uh, from click uh, to mouse uh, over and I will have to do, the, the, do this thing for all of them and you can see that in here these mouse over don't have the capital O uh, so yeah and uh, now I'm going to change also this one control V and I will change also this one like so and uh, also the last one like this control V control enter and uh, right now Right now we are going to uh, have this uh, with the mouse over like uh, like so. And, uh, and yeah, uh, now I will show you how you can uh, export this. Uh, so I'm going to first of all save this, Control S, and uh, I will go to the place where I want to save this. So I will uh, go in here and I'm going to create a new... Uh, folder I have this in Spanish but it doesn't matter and I'm going to create a new folder which is going to be animate and I will go inside and I can call this to be sofas and I'm going to hit uh, save and if I go to the place where I have this uh, sofas in here uh, I'm going to have a uh, animate file like so and right now if I'm going to hit control enter uh, in here uh, to see this in the to see this in the browser uh, it is going to automatically uh, export me to the to the folder some JavaScript HTML and images uh, so right now I'm going to get rid of it like so because what I want to do is I want to go to the animate uh, to file and uh, publish settings and click on this folder and in here choose a location where I want to have this so one more time I will have to go in here uh, in here and I will go to the animate folder and in here I am going to create a folder which I am going to call index and I will go inside of that index and I am going to call this one to be index and I will hit uh, save ok uh, file and uh, publish uh, but uh, I'm showing you this exporting because there is one issue uh, if I go if I go to this index and if I go to this uh, index HTML and I will open this uh, and if I try to click uh, uh, it is going to be it is going to be working I will hit F12 uh, but there is a possibility that you are going to have uh, an error in here because of the images and it would mean that uh, it, it is going to be working in the norm normal website but in, in your own browser you can have some kind of warning in here some restriction because of some cross domain images uh, and uh, what you could do in uh, in some cases like uh, like so uh, is uh, you can go ahead and uh, get rid of everything like so and you can go to the animate and change the from uh, in the file in the publish settings you can change it uh, from uh, export image assets as a texture to the image assets like so and right now I will hit file and I will hit uh, publish 
And right, right now, basically, uh, we are not going to have images. We are going to have only uh, HTML and JavaScript because uh, let me show you one more time in the publish settings. Uh, if you go as a texture, it is going to put you these vectors as a PNGs. But if you go as image assets, it is going to export them as a vectors. The it, image assets is going to export you uh, things as they are. And they are the vectors right now. Uh, so right now uh, I would uh, open this like so. And uh, we are going to have uh, something like this. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is all. Uh, if you like this video or if you have watched uh, until the end, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe, but maybe only. I will continue with uh, tutorials about JavaScript, but uh, maybe not, then I will only do animations. I will see. But uh, thank you very much uh, if you have watched this and hopefully you have learned something. And yeah, maybe I will see you in, in some other tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.